Hey guys, welcome back to Just Being a Mom Podcast. And yes, you read it correctly. We bought a house. We're so excited. We cannot wait to move. Um, I mean, I'm not looking forward to moving, but excited nonetheless. <laughs> moving sucks. <laughs> but we're hiring movies. I don't even know why I'm like, so like, upset about it. <laughs> we're definitely getting movers, so whatever. Um, but before we get started, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up, because I just love you guys. I would love you if you just did that. <laughs> um, so yeah, we bought a house. Um, so today I'm just going to tell you like all about the process of us like getting it and like it's it's literally when I tell you that if when God has something for you, it is for you. Like when God has something for you, it is for you. Okay. <laughs> So like, we already know like California, I mean, if you don't know, California real estate market is like insanity. Like it's like doggy dog. Like my husband was like, buying a house is like the Hunger Games. Like it's just ridiculous. And like right now it is like totally a seller's market. Like it has been for like the last year. <laughs> But like we knew that we wanted to buy a house this year and we had like wrote it in our goals. Honestly, we knew years ago, like obviously when you get married, like you need the next step, you want to buy a house. Like obviously we knew we were always going to buy a house. We actually wanted to make it our business. I got my real estate license. Elijah, go to bed. Thank you. Um, I actually got my real estate license <laughs> and you know, we started a business like buying real estate, but like just the cards just never fell in place for us. So, um, we just kept like working at it and working at it and like working on our credit, saving money for our down payment, investing in, in other areas like Airbnb and like stock market and like just trying to build our portfolio. And then like finally after baby number two we're just like we could do it like let like we're doing this like we wrote it down we put it on our vision boards like we are doing this and um we did <laughs> and so like so like starting out like we'd heard so many like horror stories like one of my friends put in like 17 offers and like one of my other friends like have been looking for a house for like months like just sold their house and now they have nowhere to live. <laughs> like, and now they can't, like, they're literally like months and months looking for a house. Like, I think I've heard like a year and like people are paying like thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars over asking price. And like, we were like, <laughs> we could only offer so much over. Like we were on a tight budget. Not like, you know, we could offer over, but we didn't want it to, it needed to make sense. It obviously had to be valuable and appraised. So, um, go to bed now. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, now I forgot what I was saying. I was just being a mom. <laughs> But um, we wanted it to be a smart investment, obviously. And um, so we were like ready to like hit the ground running. We were like ready for it to be like, like a fight, right? Like, okay, like what are we getting ourselves into? We've heard like all these stories and like, okay, we know it's gonna be tough, but let's just put in offers, put in offers. Something should get accepted. So we put an offer on a one house and um, it was like, a, it, it needed some help, okay? It needed new floors, <laughs> new, like paint, every, like the carpet just need to be out of there. Just like, it just needed a lot of love, okay? So like we were prepared for that. We were probably like, for our budget, like we would probably just be like, you know, easier to buy something and fix it. You know, you always want to do that anyways, just like to spruce it up, you know. <laughs> but this one needed a lot of help. So, but our offer didn't get accepted. Somebody had like, 
put like 40,000 over and we were just like, okay, we're not, we can't, we can't do that. And so I'm like, fine. Like we have no problem with like, we know that this is how real estate works, like whatever. Offer not accepted, move on. Um, and then, so we put an offer on a second house and um, they counter us. We offer a little bit more and it gets accepted. <laughs> and I cannot believe that it was just like that easy. <laughs> um, and this was like, we got pre-approved and like a week later, our offer was accepted. So like, um, and I remember my husband was online, you know, he saw this house and um, he was just like, oh, look at this one. Like, we should go see this one. And he was like on the phone with the lady. And he was just like, oh, I think it was a Wednesday. And he's like, oh, can we come see it Saturday? And I was like, no, like tell her we could see it tomorrow. And he's just like, okay, my wife's really eager to see it. <laughs> like tell her we could see it tomorrow. And um, so like, so of course she's like, yes. So we're the first people to see the property. Like they literally, it's been up on, Sorry, this piece of hair is in my face. It's been on uh, the MLS for like five hours. We're the first people to see it. And um, our strategy was to work with the listing agent. That was our strategy because the market is so competitive. <laughs> the listing agent will kind of like fight for our offer to be at the top, right? So, um, so we went in with the listing agent and, um, like said like, Hey, like, and I'm sure this was like the best day of her life. Okay. <laughs> like I just put this listing out. The first people who, you know, see it, don't have an agent, want to put an offer in. That's like a real estate agent's dream come true. <laughs> so, so, um, we put in the offer, they get two other offers, like way higher than ours. And apparently the sellers were just like, we just want good people in our home. We want to leave good people for our neighbors. Like they were watching us like view their home, like on the camera. And I'm just like, okay, we could literally still be bad people. <laughs> but, but they took, we had the lowest offer and they still accepted our offer, which was like amazing. Um, so that's that. <laughs> And then we had an amazing like loan officer or like what are they, a mortgage broker, whatever they're called. And like we closed early. Like, of course there's like a 30 day closing. I think we closed in like three weeks and like five days. <laughs> so like just under like a month, but like the loan was like funded like way before that like you know like within three weeks so we were just like oh my god like this is this is like really happening and it's like going so smoothly like usually because I've you know we've been in real estate like usually like you see some hiccups in transactions and you see like things like back and forth like it was literally the smoothest trend the, the smoothest <laughs> that any transaction could ever go like no hiccups closing early um all contingencies removed all like you know like everything just flowed so smoothly and then <laughs> so when we closed so uh, my sister-in-law uh, actually bought a house too and we closed on the same day and um my husband i don't know if they want me talking about them like this but hopefully they don't mind go to bed please um, but hopefully they don't mind, but their dad was a real estate agent too. And, you know, we just believed like he was watching over like both these transactions and made sure like everything went through and for us to like close on the same day, it's like so much more special. Like, you know, that God has something to do with that and cherry on top. Okay. Are y'all ready? <laughs> Not only they rented it. Wait, what, what was I about to say? Okay. Sorry, my brain, because my kid is like right here bothering me. Um, they ended up renting it from us for the first two months. And then like by the time they're done renting it from us, like our lease is up. So it's just like the perfect timing to move in. Like our lease is up. Like they paid us rent 
and like we move right in. Like it's just like the timing of it could not have been literally more perfect. It was just like you know that God had his hand in it, right? You know that and even like and it's so funny because even when like you know because like they'll still keep sending you houses and houses like when you sign up for like Redfin or like the MLS like they'll just keep sending you still houses like what's out there and I'm and I'll look and I'll just be like oh my god our house is so much better than this and like we got such a great deal or like oh my gosh like oh they like you know like we didn't overpay like th these houses are just, like still sitting here and like you know like or not still like sitting, but you know, like the, we got the, like God gave us like the best, like within our budget, <laughs> like, you know, like, I think I'm just still like, <laughs> if I say like one more time, I'm sorry guys, but I'm just still like in awe of it all, like how it all worked out. And I can't wait to move, I'm so excited and like we don't have to rush and pack and like get everything like I have time to like Marie Kondo I have time to organize I have time to pack even when they move out I'm gonna go over there I'm gonna like deep clean everything because you know like and I gotta you gotta pray over everything you know because like, I don't know who they were I mean I'm sure they're good people they definitely accepted their offer <laughs> but you know you just want to clean everything pray over everything, like just like clean out like all the faucets and just like make it just as new as possible and as yours as possible. So you know like when it is dirt in there, it's your dirt and not anybody else's. Um, but just, I just wanna like be able to take care of this home and like, you know, it's not a forever home, um, but I want to keep, it's so important to keep the value in the home. So like, that's why you need to stay at home mom. <laughs> right here and you know because you need someone to take care of the home and keep the value of the home up so that when you go to sell you can still get top dollar for your home um so <laughs> so i plan on taking like amazing care of this home and like it's so funny like being an adult like because we're like oh we have to buy like appliances like it's like literally the most adult thing that i've ever done not having a kit <laughs> buying appliances <laughs> like literally the most adult thing that I've ever done <laughs> but um we're so excited and we're so blessed and um if you have any questions about like the Santa Clarita area or if you're looking to like to move to California I have like some really great like recommendations just like put a comment below and just let me know what your thoughts are if you're like trying to buy a home if you need a mortgage guy if you need a realtor like comment below let me know if you're in california and i'll definitely give you some really great recommendations all right um so thanks for listening guys and i look forward to seeing you guys next week um yeah i'll see you guys next week <laughs> bye thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell for notifications see you next time